take 3,936. Three, two, one, go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome to another episode of Team Sessa Talk. Do we have an applause button? I will edit it in, Dad. Don't I'm you worry. I'm so excited to be here. This is a father-son podcast for... I don't want to say podcast. It's a show. father-son show. It's a show. Where we talk about different things real estate related. Sometimes we don't talk about real estate. If you want to watch some of our other episodes, they are really great resources if you're looking for any information on real estate, buying, selling, stuff they're like that. Entertaining as hell. And they're entertaining. And they're entertaining. But uh, if you go to playlists, go to podcasts, you will see different, uh, you'll see a bunch of different episodes that we've done. And if video is not your thing, we are also available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, just about anywhere you go to get your podcasts. You can find these episodes there. And yeah, so we've been pulled out of retirement, Pa. I know. We used to do these episodes once a week. Then we stopped for a little while. We're into other things. We do a ton of different market reports. But you're right. We are back. We're back at the Team Sessa table. We are back. And tell, tell us why. Tell us why we're back, Pa. CBC Marketplace has forced us forced to us talk. They've talked. They forced us out of retirement to talk about one of their newest episodes, where they go undercover and they find bad things going on with some real estate agents. Yes. Well, in their mind, the industry. Yes. Okay. So, can I frame this up? Can I Definitely. quick summary of the show? I think you do. Yeah. Okay. So, there's a lady in Vaughn wanting to sell her detached house and she decides <clears throat> excuse me she decides she wants to sell on her own she does not want to use a listing agent and she hires a company a brokerage that will put her property onto the mls to market it for sale but she is in a sense going to be the listing agent and she's going to do all the work herself so pays a fee company puts her property on mls She's expecting lots of buyers to see it and agents to bring their buyers and, and she's expecting to save the listing commission and for the buying commission, the agent who brings the buyer, they keep saying on the show, she's offering 1% commission. Correct. So she's, that, that's the premise and things don't go so well. She is not having a lot of action, which is very surprising because we know and they announced this on the show. Um, eventually she sold it was in July and she took her 90 days to sell her property anybody who's been even remotely following the market knows if you're watching our our shows on market reports you know months of inventory is extremely low you know and one it has been for this one month or less almost. we know the average days on market is between 10 and 15 yeah in Vaughn over the course of the summer we know multiple offers left, right, and center on properties. We know there's a shortage of listings, and we know there's a surplus of buyers. It's a very competitive market if you're looking to buy. And we know prices have been going, in most cases, up, up, up. So when they say she's having a hard time selling, I got to wonder why. And she has been getting calls, though, from realtors. And they're either asking to list her property or they're asking her for higher commission. They're saying, will you pay um, two, two and a half percent commission? And she's saying, no, I'm giving 1%. And one agent tells her, well, that's why, because she says, you know, why is nobody bringing, why are none of the agents bringing buyers? And the one agent tells her, well, because you're only paying 1%, you've been blacklisted. Well, that is very upsetting for her to hear and she calls cbc marketplace she tells them that agents are not bringing their buyers to my house because i'm only paying one percent this agent told me i was blacklisted and marketplace they're like whoa this is wrong yeah. we're gonna go undercover and we're gonna get our cameras and hidden cameras and we're gonna put on this big show of we're going to expose this industry, the underbelly of the industry. Correct. They didn't have to do that, Danny. <laughs> they did not. That show could have been four seconds long if they just called any realtor. Make and one ask. call to one realtor and ask them the question, if the commission is low, 
are there do are there agents that won't bring their buyer clients the answer is yes and the worst part is it's not even like that's low but there's agents that won't bring their buyers if the commission is a half a percent lower than what they're used to right so if it right so even if commissions say at at two percent, there's agents that'll yeah maybe not bring their buyers. You know, by us telling you what happens out there sometimes is not any means us condoning it. Yeah, it's it's they called it steering in the show. I've never heard that word before. I haven't right? either. I mean, unless you're driving a car, I've never heard. But I, I can see how it makes sense, the, yeah. the word in this example. You're steering your client away from a listing. Yeah. I can see it, but it, it's completely wrong. It goes against our rules. As, as uh, It goes against our fiduciary responsibilities in representing your client. We're supposed to be acting in the best interest of our clients. Correct. Well, they found some realtors that weren't doing that and were actually trying to steer their clients away and it's wrong and just for the record there's no room for those agents in our industry there's 100%. just no room for those agents 100 percent. so that's what happened cbc went undercover found some agents doing those things there is some problems though that i have with the way the whole thing was presented i gotta tell you well, before we do that, let's just address this whole issue of steering. Like, that's just wrong. And, you know, we don't... It's illegal. We don't... When, when it comes to that, we... It's, it's just the furthest thing from how a lot of good agents operate. Because there are a lot of really good agents that won't do that. And it's... it's you know, they, they painted the entire How industry with one night? brush. I yeah, mean, that could be the right house yeah. for your client. Commission is not forefront. Yeah, it's it's down the line. You do a good job, and, and just find the right house for your client. Exactly. So that's just just to right off the bat, we don't condone steering at all. Completely wrong. And if 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 that's what you're doing again, there's no room for you in this industry. But this idea of blacklisting. This is something I wanted to I wanted to mention because I laugh I laugh when when they yeah, said that on the, the show. The, the, the way it sound it doesn't sound great, but there is no blacklisting when it comes to real estate. We don't get a list of you know okay these are the homes that are one percent commission and we're not going to show these homes. We don't meet up with other realtors or discuss with other realtors. Oh okay we're not going to show this house this house this house. Like that's just not how it works. It's what it is, it's just individual decisions. So if someone is looking for a property for their client, they're making that individual decision that, you know, this one is, you know, let's say paying 1% commission and I'm not going to show them that. So it's, but that's their choice. And obviously it's not the right choice, but it is their choice. And it's, there's, there, there are shady agents that will do that, but most good agents will not do that. Most good agents will take you to see the house there is no blacklisting that just not a thing it's just not a thing there's individual blacklisting if you want to call that though one yeah. individual agent decides i'm not going to show that house yeah and that's that agent but not the industry there's yeah. a ton of great agents out there exactly you said that really good i'll tell you something else i saw on the show marketplace didn't talk about it at all the seller said that she gets she was getting a bunch of calls from agents asking to list her property mm. does that happen absolutely is it also against our rules for sure it is she has a listing agreement in place that's the only way she could be on the mls we know she has a listing agreement in place with a brokerage it's against our rules to interfere with a listing 100%. it's against our rules and, but do we know agents do it? Of course they do, especially if you're a for sale by owner. Some 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 agents, their entire business. That's their whole is, business model. Is going out of after those guys. Yeah, they become really good at converting a lot of those for sale by owners. Yeah. And 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 so you know they didn't mention that it's against our rules. Hey, you know they didn't mention it, but no problem. I just wanted to throw it out there that yeah. there's other things that came up that I saw as a 
as uh, as against our rules, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. You know. So we were. So these things came up while we were watching the show. What did you think of the house? I thought the house was nice. I mean, for for it's it's it was a fairly fairly traditional house that you'd see in Vaughan. We so know it's in Vaughan, but it didn't we, look like it was in bad condition. It didn't look looked like good. It, yeah, it did look good. They showed her taking care of her garden, yeah. nice garden, yeah. nice outdoor space. Yeah, um, it was a nice house. Yeah. So we're watching this, and yes, steering is wrong. I wish there is a way to figure out all the agents that were doing this. Get them out. There's no room for us. I wish there's a way to punish them all. There is, but it's just it's it's difficult to to do. I I wish. Uh, uh, Rico would be tougher on on these people. Yeah, which is but, our authority, or what is it, the the, the regulatory body of real correct, estate correct. agents. But you know that's the show, and we watch the marketplace show. But you know, as realtors, we're kind of curious: why isn't this house selling when we know you can't? You know, houses are selling left, right, and center. Yeah, in inventory, the hot, inventory, the hottest was market low. we've ever had. Inventory was low. If your house was good, decent, and the price was right, it would sell. Immediately. Yeah. Immediately. So why isn't her house selling? So naturally, as realtors, once the show is over... CBC isn't the only one that can do investigations. So we did our own <laughs> investigation, and, and man, some of the things that we saw made no sense. So... I, I've got the listing here. I'm not pulling it up for for privacy reasons, but I've got red ink all over this. And if you're going to sell on your own, at the very least, like make an effort to get it right. I, I, I understand you don't do this every day and there's realtors like us that do this every day. And, and it, it, you know, but... Man, just I, I don't know how else to say, but it's, there's it's so hard. many silly there's, mistakes. There's, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that just. <sighs> well, these things we're going to talk about yeah. will directly impact people coming to see your house. One hundred percent. So let me start off with this one here, and then I'll that. leave the next one to you. you okay. Can take that one, sure. So they keep saying on the show she's listed at one million four hundred and seventy-five, which is a decent price for. A home in that area, a detached home. Mm -hmm. But the listing is actually when it first went out to the public, when you hit submit on the MLS, when you're uploading your listing, you hit submit. When it first started, it started at 14750 Can you imagine? So by mistake, somebody's finger stuttered and an extra zero went in and... 14750000 is what this property was listed at. Now, it got changed. It got changed fairly quickly to the correct price. But here's the problem with that. You might think, what's the big deal? It got changed. Well, it, it, it is a big deal. It's a subtle problem, but a big deal. The big deal is this. It's no longer at 1475000 a new listing. It's now a listing with a price change. And it'll appear as PC on our lists, on anybody's list. It's not a new listing. And the significance of that is when a listing is new and it's the, you know, anyone who's looking and there's tons of people, we know there's way more buyers than properties that are for sale or properties that have sold. And throughout the summer, many, many buyers could not buy. But almost all of them have search criteria set up on certain softwares. It could be through realtor.ca, it could be through the, the MLS itself, it could be through their realtor who sets up search criteria for listings to be emailed. Well, if somebody's looking in the 14, 50 mil, uh, 14 15 one, million, 14, 15 million, they'll see this. <laughs> 1.4 million or 1.5 million range, that's their search criteria. They might put in, I want to see four bedroom houses between 1.4 million, 1.6 million. This house would not show up in that search and and that's the problem so they're not going to be updated and so then you change the price it still might not be updated because certain softwares don't catch the price change they just catch the initial new listing that goes up so there's going to be a lot of eyeballs 
that are not seeing this and the most important days and there's a lot of factors that go into it the most important days of our listing are the first seven to ten days that's when you want to be negotiating an offer this one's yours all right that's a fun one okay so the second issue and the second it's it's it's, it's a massive issue here it's a massive issue. especially because of how hard they pushed it on the show they kept saying that the seller was offering 1%. The seller was willing to offer 1%. I was willing to give 1% yeah, to so the buyer. Yeah, so it's about $14,000. They, they were going to offer 1% to the buyer's agent. And if you look at the listing, there is zero mention of 1% commission. There is zero mention. Then there's, there's, there's certain portions that the public can see. There's certain portions that's reserved for the agents and the brokerages. And generally in those brokerage remarks, you'll see if there's, if let's say the commission is negotiable or if there's, there's, if there's anything about commission would be there. And when you look at it here, the only thing we see is that the listing brokerage is going to pay one cent to the cooperating brokerage so she's offering one she cent offering commission one cent commission to the cooperating brokerage and like i said if there was any mention in the remarks in somewhere here that said you know seller is willing to offer one percent seller is willing to negotiate commission whatever the case is it's a different story but seeing here that the cooperating brokerage commission is one cent I mean, I don't know about you, Dad, but my first reaction when I see this is, okay, so they're not going to pay anything. Well, that's it. See, the reason they put one cent and not zero cents is they're not allowed. They just can't. To upload the listing, yeah. you have to fill in that field with something. And the absolute <laughs> lowest, yeah. the absolute, you can't put zero. Yeah, so you have it to. won't take it. One cent is the next the next amount of dollars. So and they're paying one cent and it's uh, again to not show your client the property because of that is completely wrong so so let, let's just be clear on that yeah I, so I think we have to make that very the, clear the one that. cent is not the reason to go against our rules exactly like you still have to show the property to your client but this it's just to to put their one cent I mean, at, at some point we got to we got to talk about human nature and how people are just going to look at this. How other agents are just going to look at this. How do you take this seriously? You can when they're just offering one cent, you know. And if they if they noticed an error on price, why wouldn't they change that? Why wouldn't they put one percent? Or why wouldn't they put it somewhere here that you know? Oh, we're actually going to offer one percent. They 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 made it very clear on the show yep. that they were going to offer one percent, but they decided to not make it clear at all here that they were offering one percent cbc never said to her hey how come you're at 14 million first or, yeah how come you're only showing one cent yeah you know maybe her her attitude was well when they call i'll tell them one percent maybe i don't know yeah. but there's a lot of agents that just won't call yeah because it's hard to, it to me when i read this i'm thinking because she's not using a listing agent her prerogative it's you know she's well within her rights but she doesn't want to use a buyer agent either yeah exactly she's putting one cent it's like and and we that fill out these forms know you have to put something and so it's like yeah. she doesn't want to want to use and, a buyer's and you agent know what? if she, that's if that if that is what she wants to do if that is what anyone wants to do that is completely fine we're not even saying that you have to pay a buyer's agent we're not saying that you have to pay any commission but don't expect the same results. Don't expect don't people expect to take you seriously. Same results. Like, How, it's like, human nature. People, exactly. Don't you know. expect the same results. You're, of course, if you're not going to pay buyer's commission or if you're stating that you're not going to pay buyer's commission, people are just not going to... It's wrong. It's wrong. But don't expect the same results. If you're not going to pay for a service, you can't expect the same results. And that's, that's, it's just, that, that's just, I don't know if that was an error, if that was supposed to be 1%, but they just put one. But it's been on the market 90 days it, and it's, it was never changed. And we can see the history of the listing. If she changes the word B to C, changes one letter on the listing, we will see that yeah. update through the history of that listing. 
we looked through, commission was never touched. Home was on the market for 90 days. So yeah. her and intentions, so... you know, they're not clear, but they definitely are not talking 1%. Yeah. Let me talk about another two points here. The listing has it as a one car garage and and we know it's a two car garage. Yeah. The square footage has it less than 2500 square feet. Yeah. And we research through through land registry, we know it's over 2 2500 square feet. And and they might seem like insignificant things but it's huge in real estate. There's a drop down window that that you put the square footage of the house and there's either you pick between 20 2000 to 2500 or you pick 2500 to 3000 square feet. And the reason why there's a significance here is because of the relationship to the price. So if she's at 1,475,000 listed, eventually <laughs> listed, right? She's got the right price eventually. And you're less than 2,500 square feet and you're a one car garage, which is the way the listing was put together, she's overpriced. Yeah. And there's one agent in the show that tells her buyer clients, the house is about 200,000 overpriced. Do you still want to see it? Now the marketplace people portrayed that as She's trying to steer her clients away. Maybe, maybe not, because she's actually technically right. She's overpriced by a lot if, in fact, she's less than 2,500 square feet in a one-car garage. Yeah. So that's a big mistake how people will not take, or reasons why people may not take her s listing seriously. But not even take it seriously. They might not even pop up on their searches. Right, because you know, if you're looking for a home in Vaughan, you know, if you're looking for a detached home, you're not necessarily looking for a one-car garage because most of them are two, right? Yeah, and her driveway actually is a big, long, two, yeah. a four-car drive. Just the driveway is a four-car driveway. There's no mention of that. There's no room descriptions at all. It's just it's and and this is this is oh, the last one. Okay, so the last the last one we got here is the photos. And this is something that, you know, it's, you guys see it and you guys have commented. Some of you guys have commented in our, in our videos, cause we've asked this many times where, you know, how do you feel about staging? How do you feel about professional photos? Stuff like that. And, uh, and we've seen the comments and we've, we've seen it with our own clients. When we ask them about houses, if we send them houses, they say, oh yeah, you know, I saw that house, but it looked really ugly. So I don't want to see it. Yeah, or right. there were no pictures yeah. or, or the pictures weren't nice yeah. so we didn't take it serious they'll and tell so, you that and so and that's this is this it's it's a very real thing and these are very clearly i don't know if, I, i'm not gonna say iphone pictures but they're they're pictures they're from, iphone pictures they're from a cell i'll phone. say they're iphone pictures they're cell phone pictures and you know they're vertical <laughs> And they're just not, they're just not good images. It's not a good representation of the home, especially because you got to see a bit of the home in the actual video, the marketplace video. It's a nice home. And it was a nice home, but the way it was presented, it, it just, it, it just, I don't know. It just seemed like there was a bit of a lack of effort for the photos. And for that reason, it just appeared, it just didn't appear nice. And, you know, like I said, we have clients that, you know, will send them houses and they have already searched on their own. And so we'll send them a house that they already saw and we'll say, hey, you know, this this actually matches your criteria perfectly. We should really go see it. And they'll say, oh yeah, I saw that one, but, uh, but I didn't really like it. It looked really ugly. And then we take them to go see the house and they realize, oh, this is the perfect house for us, right? And, and that makes a difference because if, you know, there's, there's people that'll just skip over the house if the pictures don't look nice. And, you know, these are, these are, they're prime, terrible these pictures. are a prime example of they're terrible, terrible photos, terrible no listing photos. And, and, and that, that just makes a difference. And all these little, all these little errors, whether it's the, whether it's the driveway, whether the price, the broker, the commission, the pictures, all these little errors, they compound and they lead to this big effect of people not wanting to see the house right yeah, it's and like so, death by a thousand cuts exactly and so it's you know it's on one hand again we have to say that you know when it when it comes to us and how we deal with uh, we deal with clients you know when it comes to the commission it's it's not even a discussion at this point 
right? We take the clients. It's about we, the house. We're showing we the show house. them the house. And, and there's and, lots of agents that'll do that. Yeah, and, and exactly. There's a lot of great agents that'll do that. We show them the house. If they like the house, we start talking to them about price. We start talking to them about, you know, what do they want to include? So many things. And then only at the end, once we once they decide, okay, you know what, we're going to go in. This is what we want to do. Only then do we start discussing commission. And, you know, so this, I mean, every agent that had a client that saw this should have brought their client there. But you can see how these, the, well, the other side of the story from CBC Marketplace, you can see how the other side kind of makes sense. You know, all these little mistakes would kind of throw throw a lot of people off, I would say. For sure they would. They should. The moral of the story, do the best job you can for your client, work in their best interest. That's if you're the agent. If you're the seller, selling on your own, do it yeah. Do it properly. Yeah. Like, and do the best you can and, you know, don't think that these little things don't matter because they do and it makes a big difference do the best job you can uh, you know that's all i'm gonna say like yeah. like this listing a, a way better job could have been done and 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 we see this every day and we scratch our head thinking how can they list a property like that yeah there 100%. you go percent well that's 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 about our it. show that's about it for us now we're, we're not going to go back into retirement because we are going to do more of these shows and uh, we just got to figure out when we're going to squeeze them in because we got a bunch of market reports. We're going to do, you know, we've we got plans to do more and more of these shows. Subscribe. That way you're reminded when these shows come up. Share yes. these with your friends. And thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. We will see you soon. Thanks, guys.